One feature in Design Source Mold Engineering software that's quite convenient for answering questions as well as doing design work is the hydraulic cylinder calculations. I've had quite a few times over the years where they designed a mold for a customer, particularly unscrewing molds, where they're, they've bought a mold and they want to buy a, an auxiliary pump, hydraulic pump, to go with the mold for the press. You know, so they're going to run it in an electric machine. It doesn't have its own hydraulics. They want to know. They want to be able to size the pump, so they want to know how many gallons per minute am I going to need to run this mold, and I can answer that for them quite quickly, and you will be too, um, just by entering in the sizes and uh, you know the basic information that you already know. In this particular case, I'll say that it was a two-inch diameter piston, and that's uh, you know pretty common, but it could be three and a quarter. It doesn't matter. You just enter whatever size it is, and you enter the rod size as well, the length of the stroke. And again, I'm working in inches here. The hydraulic pressure. You don't need to enter that to answer that particular question, but if you enter it, then you you can get all of the answers available. And we'll say that there's 1,500 psi available and the time for the piston stroke in seconds. We'll say you want to run that cylinder back and forth in a second and a half. And we'll just say a second. You hit calculate and you get your forward force of 4,000 over 4,700 pounds. Your return force is always smaller because you have the piston rod on the, on the return side of the cylinder. So there's less area available for the oil pressure to act on. And it tells you that you need 17 0.14 gallons per minute and that's uh, I mean horsepower is included there but that's all of your information that's available and allows you to answer the question for the customer or to do your design work